Got a huge elo boost. Thanks, Nufika, for the following. Guns are right. These two is pretty nice in the matchup. Don't know about the crackle. Not really. It's good enough going first, I guess. Finding out a mini bot is always threatening against the deck, but. Kalento, uh, Dorgan Greater Kalento. Well, he's still higher ranked by far, so. One game says nothing. Oh, kind of mini bot. Not too unexpected. But at least you can. Oh, wow. That's a lot of minibots. So do I take the discount or do I develop the power maze? Um, developing power maze means I kill one of these. He coined them out, so he could have a muster next turn. I double hit this, then he musters, kills this, has this, and three guys. Then... I can play Shredder, Power Mace, one of the guys, probably. Then I have a big Shredder, and then he Owls. If I just play the Shredder now... Hmm. Yeah, I can just play the Shredder now, I guess. In this case, he will probably double hit this one. Maybe hit it once and play Master. Yeah. But then I have the Shredder, at least. Ready to go. Time. I'll just get the tempo advantage from the... Oh, broke this thing. Um, from the mech warper for now. Yeah, there's the owl. I knew it! Okay, but this means I can play two spider tanks. It's actually pretty helpful. Or do I develop... Uh, hmm, no. If I develop the power maze, it's... Awful curve wise, and this thing dies anyways. So I can play two of these. If he has a consecration, he can trade everything in and kill everything of mine. But then I have an Azure Drake and an upcoming weapon and a Black Knight. I think that's enough overall. Should I trade into something here? Don't think so. He might play an equality, triple trade, knife juggler, I don't know. Master, okay. Reporting for duty. So it wasn't the top deck card. But he might have like hmm. I'm not hmm. So did he save it until turn five for the quartermaster? Um, no, I, well, even if he, no, the outplay was better overall, because he wanted to deny me my random two drum. So it doesn't necessarily mean that he has a quartermaster. If he does, though, uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Well, I can kill one, trades one for one, has a quartermaster in this guy. Um, kind of don't want to develop the power maze just for this guy. So the question is, do I just hit phase 21? Probably. It's probably not enough. And now he misses one damage to kill the Drake. Even with Quartermaster. Oh, well, Quartermaster could kill everything. I guess, Follow the okay. rules. Fine. Reporting for duty. Oh, that's, that's a guy killer now. Hmm. That's nice. I think I was about to equip the power maze to kill this, but the fire mantle is way more effective. And he just wasted his um, peacekeeper anyways. These two can kill... Can kill two kill? Yeah. I think I'll just go for the board here.
I have no time for games. Uh, hmm. Seven damage on the board. You'll break the Divine Shield of the Neutron with this thing, that's for sure. Um, so it's seven, eleven, fourteen. So I could put him down to seven. It's probably good enough. Even if he steals something next turn. Probably Consecration. Like, I play the Neutron, he hits, plays Consecration, hits this. Hits the Cogmaster also if I play it. And then he steals... Right. Might play quality and. Hmm. I guess I'll just go for it. Yeah, I don't play the Cockmaster. Question is where do I place it? I think here. Makes him take three more damage. Engaging TC okay. into this locator. It's not too bad. I'd still have this consecration, then he probably steals my flame town totem. I don't know if he doesn't. Huh. The victory is well played. Got it. I must protect Not many legend players playing this hammer. evening. Oh, that's a pretty good curve actually. Um would be almost insane if I went second uh first. I think I keep it this way. If he kills my Magwopper, I can play the Power Mace turn three and get a big shredder. Well he might silence it, but or I play the Shredder turn 3. And do I want to coin this out though? I could return it. I think I don't. That's good enough. Zombie Chow is a problem, but then I'll wait one turn, coin out the Power Maze, and play a big Mech Whopper, I guess. There we go. Nox Rapus hmm. is all. Well, that's a good opening. Seems to be a mistake, but definitely have to get rid of it. Get rid of it now, or it grows too far. Pretty high ramping here. Um, oh, two flame tongues again. Question is, hit his face now. Then it doesn't die to wrath, and if he silences it, like what is his turn five anyways? I wonder. Dread of the claw. I have a f 
four, five. So I could deal six. But then I don't play the Shredder. So I play the Mech Whopper, that's for sure. The question is do I attack? For three phase damage doesn't seem to be right. Um Dirt of the Claw and Cat is annoying. Um, if I hit this now. I actually want this to be silent so I can play the Shredder, but. I wonder. Belcher, 45, Flame Tongue. Yeah. Ah, I guess. It's, it's not obvious. I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong here. Where shall I strike? Denied him the cat there, at least. Ah. Okay, I hope I can get the second one later. Uh, so it's just Flame Tongue and Totem, and I hope I get a healing top. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't die to random swipe damage. If he's. he should. Oh. Okay, he's reconsidering. Like, if he has swipe, he probably should... No, he should swipe before, and then just kill it for... for damage. Oh, okay. Wow, that's an interesting play. I take it. So my choice of either a second flame tongue or... a simple totem. I think second flame tongue is good here. Given that I will have a turn 6 and 7 anyways. And given that he just cleared it with a Savage Raw instead of something better. <laughs> I guess it's good enough. Placement though. Depends on what dies first. Ah, oh, well. little time. Okay. So I'm kind of vulnerable to big game hunter if I use the totem here and play the fire mantle. I have 10, 12 damage though. 15. Maybe I don't have to use the fire mantle anyways. Goes down to... Maybe it was too greedy to draw. <laughs> um, I have a weapon against Taunt. So if I just go for it... It's 10, 12, 15. He goes down to 6. Then he has to clear my whole board. And I have Dr. Boom. My other option is... Trade, hit, double hit, and he takes 10, he goes down to 11. I think going face is fine. Like, even if he became Hunter's Me, he didn't have an op easy way to deal with the arrest. Then. Actually, I don't need it. I can simply play it there. There's no need to risk something. I mean, I lose the 2 damage here, but probably won't matter, given that I have a Black Knight in my hand. And he probably kills the Flame Tongue. He might kill the Flame Tongue. Oh, you got a rat. Sticking for something. Seems good for me. Would I have died to innovate combo? 21. Ah, 
almost. Same guy again. Must protect the one for Doomhammer. <laughs> what a hand. Okay, that's better. I will heavily rely on this mech whopper to survive, I guess. He didn't keep a card, but doesn't have to just say anything. Like, if the Mac Popper stays around, I can play the Yeti, which will be huge. But no. So, Borod, give me something to play. Uh, Borod, deck. Ah, you understand what I meant. Oh. Top deck a 2 into a 3 into a 4. I have a 6 already. So, that's good. Pretty obvious, Ryan. I don't want to crackle next turn. Viral metal is just too important. Maybe I have to, though. Still has coin, so. Coin root of the claw. Got rock biter this, but. So rock better this. Black Knight. 4-4 four, four survives, but Viral Mantle. Rock Biter this seems pretty good. And then second spider tank also. Yep. Floats a little bit mana, but sets up for the next turn pretty nicely. <laughs> Even if he sets up a taunt, I have a Black Knight, and if he doesn't, I have the Fire Metal. Wow. Give him my bad starting hand. to kill one yeti. Okay. It's just coin six into my four. That's okay. Set up for the final metal there. Actually I can why am I answering this instead? Dorgan did you get legend with this deck? Yep. And you can check most of the climb on my YouTubes. Oh, I've got a pretty good spare part to get from my end. It's still, like, the publishing is still under, under construction. But most of the climb will be fine there. Um, ah, the four attack of this is so annoying. Uh, but I have something annoying too, so maybe I should go for it. Um, still have the Black Knight, which is also always nice against the Druid. So I could go for the Neutron Flame Tongue. I could actually crackle this. No. So I have 5, 13, something like 10. Still missing a lot of mana though, uh, damage, but if I freeze this, 5, 7, have a good next turn. Well, a reasonable next turn also. Seems good enough. If he didn't get the spare part though, he did exactly the spare part. <laughs> None. Oh, he has Black Knight too. Nothing else. That's good enough. So that's 8, puts him down to 5. It's lethal. Let's 
guaranteed lethal. Instead of just the 50-50 crackle lethal. Double digits. Wow. Faster than I thought. Okay. Nice. A pretty good series of games for me. A pretty good series of draws in this game. Um, I didn't have anything in my opening hand after Mulligan everything, and then I got Mac Whopper into it died. But Mac Whopper into Spider Tank into Yeti. Wow, nothing again. And even though I didn't play the Black Knight in both of the games, I was pretty happy to have it in my hand. Just as, as a... Like, oh wow, this... <laughs> I agree. Greetings, then, this hand is even more nothingness than the games before. Wow. I was pretty ha happy to have it, uh, just as a security. Wow, Innovate Shade again. Nothing to play again. <laughs> huh. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to play the 3-3, three, three, but it's not this much better, though. Because it just dies to the... Ah, uh, well, he has to deal with the 1-1 one, one if he kills it with Shade. I wonder if I want to crackle it for 1. Probably not. Probably want to crackle this. Okay. It's that's like one of the key turns now. Um, if I play Tinker, okay, so it's a Ram Druid, so I actually want to have the Black Knight later, turn seven or something. That's good. Good to know. Um, I could play Flame Tongue. Kill this. That's a three one. Then I play basically nothing. I could also Crackle and hope for something. I can. 50% of the time I kill it, the other 50% of the time I can kill it with, uh, like, this and that. Tinker Town is so much off curve, and I'm not guaranteed to get a useful spare part in the first place. Uh, next turn, next turn, Azure Drake. Okay. Hope for a healing totem, I guess. Not a healing totem. If he has swipe, it's looking pretty grim. Especially because he can hero power the last totem down to Oh, top deck swipe. Okay. Hmm, not sure if I would have cycled there, but okay. Probably would have used hero power. Can use the wrath for something else, like the Tinker Town or something. Um, this shade is super big. <laughs> Six. Maybe Sylvanas. I kind of want to play the Fire Elemental next turn, but if he doesn't play something that I can actually damage with the Fire Elemental, um, I will lack a lot of value. This turn 5 swipe was pretty good. Okay, I, have, I actually have something that I can hit now, that's good. 
And I, given that he plays two Senjin, I'm pretty sure that he also plays... Um, almost certain that he also plays Engine of War. So I won't hold on to... I will... No, I want to hold on for, to the Black Knight later. Um, and there it is. Anyways, that's even... Still a better play than the Black Knight for now, but I mean for the next turn. This thing again. Oh, wow. Okay. So it means he will play Scenarius next turn. Which means I'll... I want something, but... Okay, that's, that's something. I want a board so I can deal with uh, the small guys. And a Neutron would have been nice to stall whatever he could play and then I can flame tongue. Uh, that's almost as good though. Um, two damage here. That's why I meant like the Wrath Cycling earlier. If he used it now, like if he had it now and just used Tier Power earlier, well, he might have not had the cards, but he could kill this next turn. Maybe he has a second one. Still. So what do I do now? Um, I, I could play these two. And crackle. 50-50 again. Oh, dumb. I feel like I don't have a really good way to spend all my mana here. Other than whirling. No, oh, I'll play my biggest board that I can get out there. Like this. This. And maybe I get a good spare part that I can use. Something ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I guess I'll use this. In case of Black Knight, Black Knight's the least valuable target. In case he doesn't have Black Knight, which is likely, um, he might have a problem. Like not killing this here or something. Where shall I strike? So is this good enough for a black knight? That's like a super important question right now. He didn't play Engine of War so far. So that's a huge tempo swing. Like I have eight I have so much damage in my hand I can I can actually deal with an engine of war. And I could deal 13 damage to his face now, which puts him down to 16. Even more if I play, like, my whole hand. <laughs> uh, which I can't, but still. I guess I play this and Whirling. Yep, it's so good. It's good enough. Oh. Fair enough. He already used the swipe. Already used the wrath. He didn't have the wrath last turn, by the way. So I stay with. Engaging TC oh boy. Okay, that's good. Do I win? <laughs> So I have to go through this one. Eight, seven, ten, thirteen. I wonder. Maybe I placed them wrong again. 10, 16. I oh, win. Or do I? <laughs> I hit this. Place the flame tongue. I kill this by uh, the slime with rock biter. And it's 10, for 16. Then I'm one off. Uh, can I get the 5 damage somehow? No, I have crackle, right? That's. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry for being dumb. <laughs> 